Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right. It's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Got an interesting. This, this is going to be a first, I think, where most of our products all come from one company. This is going to be the have a cup of coffee and go to work edition. That's a long one. Have a cup of coffee and then go to work edition of Friday's Finds. And we're going to kick it off. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited about this one. And I'm, I'm not going to bother hiding all these boxes. You just got to look at them. So I'm going to have to do something about these labels because Amazon does not like address labels. So we're going to start off with... <laughs> if you've been following the channel, you know I love a good cup of coffee. Staresso is the odd man out product in this Friday's Finds. Have a cup of coffee and go to work. Staresso wants you to know that they're in the coffee, the portable coffee business. Let's open this up and see what they sent us. This is the, it's dubbed as the Staresso Mini. I am going to get these boxes out of my way. No, I'm not. They're heavy. <laughs> They're heavy boxes. Heavy means good. So, Staresso, the portable espresso maker. Got to wait for the plane to go by. Oh, now that's handy. Let's see what's inside of this. So, before I can have a cup of coffee, I gotta figure out how to use it. Let me, let me read the manual. I'll be back. Now that I've had a little coffee education, I'm really impressed with the Staresso Espresso Maker. So if you don't want to mess with grinding your own coffee, you can actually use pods. And that's what that's all about. That goes in there and you, you put the pod in and you put, and it punctures it. And you're good to go there. Actually, you turn the pod upside down and then perforate the bottom. We're not going to... I'll use pods. I use beans. So I am going to make some bean coffee with the Staresso Espresso machine. So we have our ground coffee. We're going to put that into the coffee receptacle. We can use the little cup as a compactor because with espresso you want to get it real well compacted. I think we're probably good there. And then this screws on the bottom here. All right, and now we have this is the water vessel. And I have my, my little Mermu pot of hot water. Don't, don't overfill. We just learned. Leave a little room. Ooh, that smells really good. Mm. 
and we're empty. All right, now we can take that off. Ooh, look at that. We even have the little creme froth on it. Espresso! That is so cool! Oh man! And that's that's the water could stand to be just a little hotter. But man, you can make a, a frappuccino. You can make make your fancy coffee drinks with that. Mmm, that's good stuff right there. I'm really impressed with this. That's actually gonna go into my, my tent camping kit. Maybe I'll put it in the RV too. Maybe I'll get one for each. I like that. It's a whole lot better than carrying around a percolator pot. Mmm, good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some, finish off my cappuccino. Heck, I might even make another one because I got the coffee grounds to do it. And I'll come back and we'll go do some work. Now, now that I'm well caffeinated, it's time to do some work. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this new spot, this new company, Vervor. I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of Vervor. Tough tools, half price. So we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Simply because I think that's the easiest way to do it. So let's open up box numero uno. I've actually already opened it. Get this out of the way. Vervor. Tough tools, half price. This package. It's kind of it kind of it kind of means a lot to me. If you've been following the channel for any length of time, you know I use a a high speed mobility scooter. And over the many years that I've been using a mobility scooter, I've come to realize that there's a lot of places you go that you don't necessarily have easy access. And one of the most challenging things is a two to three inch lip. That's where this box comes into play. Vervor, they got all kinds of stuff. When they showed this to me, I'm like, yes, I want to talk about that because that, that makes a difference in people's lives. When, you're, when this box shows up, you don't want to bring it in the house. It smells. Comes with some anchors. And what this is, is this is just a big, it's a simple thing, but it's a heavy thing. It is a two inch rubber ramp. Now this is both applicable for a commercial setting where you're running carts or dollies up and down and you got a little change in elevation. But, but for me, what makes it important is if you have a family member that is in a wheelchair or relies on a mobility scooter of some kind in most homes hold on we need to we need to we need to go someplace else so i can show you what i'm talking about that little step does not look to be a, an obstacle for most most people i mean if you got two good legs you can just walk right over that but if you're in a wheelchair or you're in a powered scooter, that'll shut you down hard. That's where this comes in. <clears throat> you see on the, on the back, it is honeycombed. And it's, it's not, not light, it probably weighs 30, 30 pounds or so. Perfect, and it eliminates the obstacle. I think that's a heck of a deal right there. Vervor. All right, let's go open those other boxes. Our next box from Vervor is heavy. I 
Amazon does not like white labels. Even if those white labels are product descriptor things, I get I get flagged. Ah, this comes with a pair of steel pair of gloves, and it says it is a steel wire shelf. bunch of parts. Let me assemble this and then we'll talk about it. It's, it wasn't too difficult. I mean, you saw on the, the, the time lapse there that it, it, it goes together very simply. It just locks into place. They provide you with a little mallet to drive those in. You can configure the spacing between these shelves so that it works to best fit your needs. And, and you know, looking at it now, I'll probably, I will take it apart and adjust so that the larger spacing is on the bottom, not on the top. The end caps seem to be of a universal nature, so they're, they look a little large, but they do the job. Now, according to this manual, this, this assembly manual, this unit, this is the 12 by 30 by 60. The total load limit is 2,000 pounds, and each shelf can support... 400 pounds so you can put almost two of me on each one of those shelves of course i'd have to be really compressed and that would just be gross so we won't even discuss that the little mallet not such an impressive tool uh i would recommend having a 
a larger one. It goes in a little kid's toy box or something. Other than that, I'm really impressed with this. The quarter inch shelves. It's wobbly because of my, my patio surface. But this is gonna work out really great to put my pool chemicals on and get them up. They're, up, they're in a box over there. Yeah, I really like this thing. Now that makes for a much neater appearance here by the spa. Gets everything up off the ground. The the cabinet is not really all weather, but I don't get a I don't get much rain in here, so it, it should be okay for the, the time being. One more box to go on this edition of a cup of coffee and going to work. Velcro, bungee cord, one, two, three, four, tote bag, and in a user manual. So let me let me read the manual. I'll be right back. The manual was a little vague. So we have Ah, loop straps. Now that's those come in real handy. I'm not sure what the Velcro's for yet. So lay that out. Take your, push that through there like that. Come back through there like that. Adjust it to the to the correct length, and then you start ratcheting. Just like that. We need to, we need to ratchet it down on something. So when you're when you're transporting stuff, when you're hauling stuff, especially heavy stuff. You really, you really don't want to use, you know, a, a bungee cord. Bungee cords are okay, for, you know, if you just want to keep it really kind of stable, hold tarps down, stuff like that. But if if you've got any mass, any weight, you really want to be using a, a, a tie down strap. So we're gonna we're gonna tie down, we're gonna strap down something here in the back of the truck. It, it really, really seems like a simple concept and. You, you wouldn't think that it would be necessary to explain it, especially to somebody that owns a pickup. But how many times have you been driving down the freeway and, and you see a, a living room sitting on the side of the road, a bedroom because it wasn't properly secured? Anyway, I, I don't like being one of them people that loses their load as I'm running down the highway. Not to mention the fact that that's my stuff. I don't want my stuff to get blown away. So to undo these ratchet straps, all you have to do is pull this little lever back right here, and it takes the tension off the spool. So we're gonna take that. And they've got these handy little loops in the bed of a pickup. I know it's black, but I don't have any choice in the color of the rental vehicle. But if, if we didn't have those handy loops let's say we were working with my little trailer we could loop that through and then take that hook and 
just like that. So now we want to take all the slack, almost all the slack out. I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack so you can put some tension on it. Uh-oh. Nice and tight. And, and now we still have all of this. And if you don't do something with this, it'll flap in the wind and it'll start to fray over time. So what I always do is I take that length, pull, whoop, 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 where are you going, where are you going, where are you going? Get back over here. I take this, wrap it through there like that. And that, that keeps it from flapping quite as much. Now, ideally, we would be doing this up there, but then I'd have to get in the bed of the truck. But well, you get the idea. A couple of, I really like the, I really like these. Those are right handy. The Verver Company, good tools for less, or whatever their slogan is. Good tools, anyway. Seem to be good quality so far. And I know on, on the Friday's Fine Show, we'll, we'll be seeing more of these, more tools from Verver. Vervor, Vervor. Tough tools, half price. I like these ratchet straps, and I like that shelving unit too. And I really like the curb ramp. All three of those I think are really great values. Nice products. I, I, and I can't say it enough. I, re I'm, I really like that. Such a simple thing. I'm easily impressed. And I want to give a special shout out of thanks to both vendors that sponsored this video. I look forward to having many, many cups of espresso on the go. That's a cool, cool device there. All right, that brings us to the end of this brief edition of Friday's Finds, the cup of coffee and go to work edition of Friday's Finds. Hey, if you found some value, entertainment, or just it, I, I alleviated some boredom, please click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. If you saw something that you thought was ridiculous, post a comment down there and let me know all of these items can be of course found on amazon i'll include a link in the card above and in the description below and that link will take you to the friday's finds shopping list on the dude rv amazon page uh if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am most honored that you spend some of your time with me. And for my patrons, I cannot express my gratitude enough. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now. You hear?